Welcome back, everyone, in this green screen filled episode. We talk about growing pineapples in your backyard and how easy is it to do. Uh, we take a pineapple from my backyard and make a pina colada. Embrace your umbrella. And we talk uh, and try old St. Pete rum. Stick around, enjoy the show. This is Rum John in Bourbon Bow. Uh, we are doing an episode at the beach, right? See the, uh, yep, in the background there. Um, or maybe we're in the desert. Uh, yeah, it's hot. It is hot. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're doing a, a, a different episode. We're not at the bar and we're not at the uh, kitchen. It's a little toasty in Southern Florida. Um, it's actually, I mean, if, Honestly, it's, it's really hot everywhere. So we're just gonna try and do this um, roaming with the green screen and have some fun. Uh, as you can see, Bao, what we've got going on here today is, uh, well, rum and a giant, well, not a giant, it's a little, it's a cute little pineapple, right? Uh, we, uh, we actually grew this pineapple in the backyard. Um, it was given to us, it was actually growing in the neighbor's yard and they moved and we transplanted it to ours and it grew uh, over the past couple months and now it's, it's orange and from what we read online or read, have read online is that we think it's done or that it's ready, um, but it smells really pineapple-y. Yes, it so, does. <laughs> um, so how are you doing? How's things going? Doing well, uh, can't complain, grateful. Yeah, yeah, grateful as always, and I'm glad to be back here in Rum John doing another episode. Yeah, um, you know, hey guys, uh, again, let us know how we do. That we're trying new things and trying to entertain you, and let us know what we can do. Um, so again, we've got the pineapple, um, and as I said, we're growing these in the backyard. My neighbor had some in her yard, and they when they moved they're like we didn't plant them they were just here so you want them and we're like yeah sure um so we planted them and they all look really good in the backyard and so i kind of got thinking like we've been my, the wife and kids and i have been to hawaii and we've um toured the dole plantation okay. which is super awesome if you have not gone there um i'm not a huge like just take these pineapple and eat it kind of guy but um but they have pineapple ice cream there, and it is amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm like, it's funny, like, uh, like the the marketing director and I, um, she pushes me quite a bit. Like, uh, pineapple ice cream never would have had it before her. I had it, ate it. Like, I think we had two of them. It was so good. Uh, our wedding cake, uh, I don't like lemons, and uh, <laughs> I barely will drink lemonade. But we had a lemon, like the the top whatever tier of the cake was a lemon cake um by uh patty cakes in galveston texas look her up it's very awesome yes. but that cake was amazing it was like an unreal good so like i said we went to the dole plantation and learned that like they don't grow very often and it's that you know it takes a long time to get a pineapple interesting uh 20 plus months like over two years oh, wow. from time that you plant it to the time that it buds one of these guys to the time that it's ready so that's a 20 year old right there that's a no two year old. So two year did old. I say twenty? I meant two. So okay. two year old. Yeah, it's twenty four months. Twenty twenty four plus months. Um, Same months, I think. Yeah. So, so I, I kind of was like, well, hey, let's just keep growing them. Um, and I looked online on how to actually plant it. Like, is this like a coconut where you plant the whole thing and then it makes another one? And and then like I was like, well, that doesn't. You're not going to get a lot of crop out of that. I mean, it's wasteful. So it's actually really easy. And so I want to do what I want to show everyone out there is how to plant a, uh, a pineapple or how to grow your own pineapple um, or, or get started. I'm not going to go like maybe down the road. We'll, we'll show you other pictures, but how to get started. And then uh, what else can you do with rum and pineapple but make pina coladas? So I'm down uh, let's try some. So, so what I've got here is... Um, we are actually going out tonight with the families. Um, it's a makeup day uh, for the 4th of July. Okay. Um, remember they're, they're doing a, a drone thing down at, at St. Pete. So when I was getting um, you know, the stuff for the, the pina colada today, I walked by and saw this old St. Pete rum and I thought, why not? If we're going to old St. Pete tonight, why not you know, try a rum from old St. Pete? So I grabbed this, and, um, and so that's what we're gonna do. We'll try some old St. Pete rum. 
and we'll make pina coladas and I'll show you how to uh, cultivate the pineapple to make a new one. Sound good? Sounds good to me, John. All right, let's get started. So you do that one and I will do, I will cut this guy. You wanna open that? Mike, he's gonna open it, so your dollar bet on whether he breaks the cork is with him, not me this time. So, so this, is, this is something that we're doing that I didn't know about? Yeah, it so. It's like a setup to me. Uh, I keep breaking, I keep breaking uh, um, the corks, and so now he's, um, he's yeah, he's, he's betting me every time to do a cork. All right, so the first thing you wanna do, and a lot of people like literally will start cutting this to, um, to plant it, but really all you have to do is grab it and just twist the oh, top wow. off. Look at that, that was easy. That's it, and then and then all you have, then what you wanna do is you wanna go, you wanna get a couple inches of the stem gone. So all I'm doing is I'm pulling these leaves off at, to, to kind of give it a stem. Okay, and this is how you get started with a pineapple. At least that's what YouTube says, and I follow YouTube, and <laughs> apparently you do too. So, um, so what we wanna do, Wow, this really smells. This really smells sweet. So, um, so they say you want a, a couple inches, and you're just pulling these these leaves off until you get like a nice, uh, like you know, a stalk or like something? a stalk. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you've got the stalk and we you go ahead and put it inside the water and then this bottom part here will slowly start to uh, grow uh, roots and then after it grows roots for a while um we'll go ahead and advertise no uh, after it grows roots um you take it out of the water and you put it into a uh pot, a pot like a smaller pot or I mean, or if you've got like a you know a pot the size of this, you could you could start with that. It's up to you. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a smaller pot, and then once the roots roots really take, then we're going to plant it in in the yard in the back and just let it go. But it takes so it's going to take up to they say it'll take two weeks for it to get to you know roots here for us to be able to plant it, and then for you know you put it in a pot you know pot and all that. But yeah, I mean it's so the the after you put it in the yard or put it in a pot and it starts growing it could take up to 20 months for it to actually grow one of these and it'll grow right from the middle in here to the top or the bottom in the in the middle right in the top right here oh, wow that's and so it grows out from out there okay and then you know it'll yeah it'll grow into one of these so it's i mean it's 20 to 28 months process so yeah i have a, like a deeper like appreciation for pineapples this is not like a every year you get a pineapple thing and most pineapples will only produce one to two pineapples. Oh wow! And then the plant is done, and then you you know basically pull up the plant, grind it up, and put another one in its place, and keep going. So hmm. this is not like a tree where you just like leave it out there and it's just going to keep growing. So that's interesting, right? Very interesting. I did not know that at all. So we have a fancy tool inside that uh, will will core this whole thing. And we got from where did we get that from? somewhere Amazon. Amazon probably and it's a really cool tool but we're gonna do this the old school way oh my god that smells delicious this it does smell, smell awesome. awesome look at this you can see that look at that color it's rich oh and it's super juicy it just splattered everywhere um, all right so we are going to the marketing director wants to try a piece of this, so let me. It's still, it smells delicious. I bet it tastes just like it smells. Which would be go. delicious also. Yeah, careful not to cut yourself. <laughs> All right, you wanna try it? And here comes our marketing director. Marketing director. Yeah. Let's hold our breaths and see what she thinks. She gives us a thumbs up. All right, All right. delicious. You, can you eat it? I'll let you grab it, but I, I don't, I can't do that. It's, it's okay. I'm, I'm doing it. More for you, right? Oh, wow. Wow. Is it really that good? Right, now, you, now you have to make me want to try it. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's delicious. Yeah. Oh, that is super sweet. That is delicious. All right, go in your backyard, people. This is really good.
Pineapples huh. in the backyards. Well, pineapples wow. in the backyards. All right, so we're gonna. Wow, it's delicious. This is awesome. I don't, and I don't like pineapples. So, oh, coming from a guy who doesn't yeah, like pineapples, like, sure doesn't know a lot about them, right? Well, Just I mean, tells you how awesome it is. Yeah, if I'm gonna, you know, all right, we'll, we'll take this piece here. Um, we're not gonna cook, cook with that one. All right, so I'll, I'm gonna cut this up and cube it, and okay. we'll throw it in the uh, the blender. In the meantime, I'm going to pour us a little bit of uh, the rum here, and then we can talk about yeah. this more. Just uh, smell, flavor, taste, a little bit of the history. Okay. All right. Do you want to hand me, sir, that uh, blender? Yes, please. All right. Here we go with the blender. Do I, I'm going to try and not get... I kind, of did it, I kind of did it where the core was not going to be. There it is. I kind of missed the core on purpose. Gotta give some to the kids. Oh, the kids. All right, they can each try one. How's this? There's three of them there? Yeah, okay. All right. All right, there goes pineapples. Pineapples. So, pina colada is a pineapple. Uh oh, on my phone. Pineapple on my phone. I'm not falling for that no more. I'm not falling for the pineapple on my phone. Thank you, Axel Foley. <laughs> you're a hero. If you ever get to see this, yes. Axel Foley, you're awesome. Yes. And if anybody knows Axel Foley, tell him to watch the show. Please do. Um, all right. So now that I am completely gooey. Uh, pineapple goo. Of pineapple course. goo. Uh, the next step is a uh, 13 and a half ounces of uh coconut milk oh that's yeah. rich that is that. thick nice looks good okay that's it just drink it no i'm just kidding <laughs> oh whoa, whoa, uh, whoa. <laughs> and then um i'm just gonna use i'm gonna use the same thing but of course myers you know you guys know i love to mix and, and cook with myers and it's it's called for dark rum so i happen to have just snagged some myers and it says a quarter of a cup of the Myers one. Of the, uh, quarter, it says a quarter cup and two tea tablespoons. I don't know what that means. So I'm just going to go like, I don't know, half a cup. Because um, my measuring's bad. <laughs> when it comes to rum, math goes whatever. out the door. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> uh, and then uh, and after that, it's ice. Um, if you want to grab it's it's basically two cups of ice. Um, thank you, sir. So we got two cups of ice and that is now frozen. It's been... All right. Two cups. All right, about two, about two cups. Little, little, little Smelling little. delicious, by the way. And so this great. is where you hand it to your marketing director. She'll blend it for you and bring it back. It's awesome, by She's the way. amazing. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna try this rum while while that's blending. Right, speaking of the rum, there's a little bit of history behind this, correct? So uh, let's talk about where it originates from Old St. Pete, St. Petersburg, Florida. Yes. That's about as far as I go. Okay, so Old, old St. Pete, St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, and, oops, I'm all sticky. No worries. Uh, old St. Pete crafted in uh, small batches, copper steel pots. And, it's uh, Old St. Pete, uh, or St. Petersburg Distilleries. They also do uh, a gin, a vodka, and a whiskey. Um, and we might, we might have to try while we're down there this, uh, tonight. We might have to go try some whiskey. Um, whiskey, this, Mike. This yeah. is all on you, buddy. We got you, buddy. Uh, for you. And so, yes, yeah, so it's long history. Um, uh, hard work and doers, uh, spirits, passion, vibrance. Vibrance Creative, and I I accidentally read the um, the notes and things. Yeah. So I'm not going to tell you, but like let's smell, taste, and just smell, smell taste, see what we can pick up. Uh, but yeah, like this is here. This is Florida, St. Pete. You know, St. Petersburg, Florida, Old St. Pete. Uh, and so yeah, again, uh, why not try it, right? We're in Florida. Yeah. You know, like Romans. Um, Sniff test. Ooh, that smells good. It does. I can certainly say that I smell honey in this. This reminds me of an okay. elixir my grandmother used to make when we were sick. Yeah. And that yeah, same yeah. smell is here with the honey, like honey mixed with the alcohol. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. kind of smell that. 
Ooh, yeah, I, I, yeah I'm, I'm cheating totally, but um, yep, you've got honey, that's for sure. So, does oh. it have any kind of nuts in it? Um, yes. Um, it does have, well, yeah, something you're going to get, that's something that is kind of nutty, if you will. But yeah, I mean, um, so... I, there's one on here that I, I smell every time after, after vanilla, the next one on here, I smell every time and, and, and the honeys as well, but yeah. So there's definitely vanilla here. Yes. That's one thing. There's but vanilla and there's honey. He's got two of them, right? And then there's obviously it says spice on it. So there is some spice in here that smells to have that sweet yeah, yeah, smell. Yeah. What spice is that? And, and once you, once you, you get it, you'll be like, oh yeah, that's all I smell. That's interesting. Now I'm thinking like, oh, just tell me now. Oh, just tell me now. Just tell you now. It's cinnamon. Oh my God! Yes, yeah. that's all I smell now. Yeah, oh, that's. Wow. I mean, it smells like I. I get a. Uh, I, I get like, you know, a cinnabon now. I mean, yeah. That smells really good. I mean, and um, the color is great. Obviously, yeah. the color is really, really good. I don't know if you can see this on screen. Yeah, here, let's I mean, go this way. So yeah. it's got good color. It's got decent legs. I mean, it's not. You know, it's not terribly aged. So or. or yeah, it actually doesn't. It's not got bad date. I mean, see. Yeah, it kind of comes down. Yeah, not, not, the concentration is um, great, but uh, it's uh, it's. Let's see. I'm trying to get back to my phone here. Uh, all right. So full. All right. I'll just tell you the nose. A full, rich vanilla aroma with cinnamon dried oranges. Oh, oranges. Okay. Yep, cinnamon dried oranges. A touch of leather. I'm not sure what that means. Leather. Uh, if they like threw. Bob's wallet in the barrel. I'm not okay, sure. Okay, all right. Uh, the touch, well, of, a touch of leather, honey, uh, sweetness, and baking spices. So baking spices. Oh. Yeah, I. I mean, I get like a little nutmeggy and a little. Uh, right. Right. Like it's almost. Uh, it's almost that man. What is it? Um, it's almost like an allspice, right? Where you get like the nutmeg, the cinnamon, and the. Uh, is it cloves? What's the What's the other one? Cloves. Cloves. Close. Close. Yeah. Yep, that's kind of what I get out of it. Um, all right, let's try it. It looks good. It smells good. Let's try it. That's good. I can definitely taste the honey. Uh, if you like sweet stuff, you're gonna like this. Yep. Um, it's it's smooth. It's it goes down easy. Yeah. The afterburn, not really. It's not mild. It's a mild afterburn. Very um, mild. But this is good. This is really good. Definitely sweeter side. Yeah, I would say this is uh, this is probably one of the sweeter ones I've tried. Um, this goes along lines of like um, I think the Pirate Rum over there. This right. is this is probably yeah this is sweeter than that, the Pirate XO. But this is uh, this is pretty good. I could see I could see mixing this with uh, mm. oh man, what you could mix this on, I, I don't know like a Christmas something you know. Uh, yes, eggnog or something like that. This Absolutely, would be, this would go right along that. So um, that's pretty good. Uh, good job. Maybe we'll. I'm, I'm, now I'm, I'm actually interested in the um, uh, the other ones uh, on the palate. They say full-bodied rum, dedicated sweetness, toffee. That, I, I do smell. I, yeah, toffee. I do taste sweetness. Toffee now. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Vanilla raisins and a hint of smoke. So. Wow. Well, maybe not the smoke, but I do get the raisins and the toffee now. So that it's good. a good rum. It's on the good sweeter rum. side. It's really good. Yep. Probably don't need to add any more sweets to no. it anyway when you mix it. All um, right. This, so if you if you grab your glass there and the the other one, this I'll I'll, I'll let you have the good glass and I'll use the right. uh, the yeah. other one. I'm gonna get my Miami Vice on. So yeah, this you know, all right. So pina coladas. It's not a rough, rugged man drink but what? you know what i i say this all the time everyone embrace the umbrella go have a fruity drink once in a while and you know live life you know so sir here is yep. your pina colada and um thank you yeah we should get some straws but exactly because that's how you drink it yeah doesn't matter it's, it's not about being manly or not it's just you know, about having fun gotta have a straw but that's okay. <laughs> oh, a you're already, one, oh, please? A the marketing one. the marketing director is already having one. What do you think? Is it good? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right, All right. Let's try so, this. Cheers, cheers, sir. Ooh, that's uh, agreed. That's rich. That's rich. That's yeah. really good. I like that. Um, 
oh, this is going to be a fun night. Yeah, we're going to get in trouble tonight. <laughs> uh, uh, not me necessarily. <laughs> this guy. So, yeah. hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Uh, send us bail money. Hit like and subscribe. Um, but I'm too smart to go to jail. Yeah. We talked about this. Yeah, he's too smart and I'm too pretty. So. Right, fair enough. Uh, hit like and subscribe. Uh, sit back, relax, have a drink, and enjoy the ride. Right, thank you, guys. I don't think it isn't see anymore. No, no. I think it broke up.